Hey everyone, it's Jason here with a new update for Fire Jumpers Inferno. So for the last month and a half, uh, I've had to kind of take a couple steps back to fix up how to generate maps. Uh, the old way wasn't very efficient, uh, so I've created this new map, but part of it was to kind of get the old things working again. Uh, and there's a few things. One is uh, I do have a sunrise and the sun does rise and set in, in the west. Uh, based on the time of day, so I need to get that connected. I need to get the uh, units uh, to load again, and I also added a um, kind of a terrain uh, info uh, at the top here. So if you take a look here on the in, in this corner here, you can see the different types of terrain types. There are 40. Uh, actually, technically there's 40. There's a little bit more. There's probably about 50 or so. Uh, different types of way that the fire will burn based on the fuel. And this is what these fuel codes are. GS2, moderate load, dry climate. It's a type of grass. Um, and the spread rate is pretty high, 5.3 uh, pixels per hour. And the flame length is kind of uh, moderate uh, at about a half a meter high. Uh, and these are based off of the wind speed, the current wind speed of 10 kilometers an hour. So uh, there's, now if I were to change this to 5, uh, and if we can go back to where's GS, GS, GR to, I can't find the GS2. But anyways, um, it would show a different, um, a different number. All right, so let me just load uh, a nice little map here. Um, we'll grab right here. Okay, so here we go. We've got uh, a 10 by 10 tile map. So uh, just a correction. Uh, also, the other day, I think in another video, I was saying that the lines here, between here and here, this distance was 100 kilometers. Completely wrong, it was 10 kilometers. I accidentally added a zero, eh, you know. But anyway, so these are 10 kilometer by 10 kilometer areas. So you can see the size of this map is about 35 kilometers by 35 kilometers. Um, yeah, so what we have is uh, the time, time of day, and let's come over here and find a nice spot to start a fire. So. Okay, so here we go. Uh, this says uh, SH, very high load, 10.1 pixels per hour. I don't know if you guys can read that. Let me just put it in the darkest spot. All right, 10.1 pixels per hour. So if I start a fire right here, it, it uh, every time I start a fire, it, it advances time by one hour. Uh, you, I'll be able to change that. But you can see here that it's 7 o'clock, even the light and the shadows have changed because the sun has risen. And if we were to count this roughly, where did I start this? One, two, three, kind of four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, roughly, right? Roughly about ten pixels in one hour. And if I do it again, boom, here's another roughly ten pixels. One, two, three. Yeah. But it, it is going a little bit faster because um, than than regular speed based off of wind speed because it is going uphill. So that's why it's it's a little bit faster. So if I increase the game speed here a little bit, we've got, uh, you know, the head of the fire is always a lot more intense than the back of the fire. Let's just bring this down to one. Oh, well, not 101. One. Let's get some smoke. And there we go. And uh, okay, so if I were to also um, increase the burning here, uh, let's go 100. You can see uh, it's spreading here. If I keep adding an hour, you can see here it's 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock. Where's 5 o'clock? 5 o'clock. Ooh, the sun's almost setting. All right? And this is how far fire has spread over a half a day and once you get into evening it is dark but you can still play um, 
and that is going to be very fun because during the evenings there are no aircrafts right so during the evening time you can only use the ground troops uh, and you have to wait until morning so it should be kind of an interesting um, an interesting play um, all right so we've got this we've got the fire the spreading oh yes units so let's load these units they are getting loaded uh, randomly on the map and we can take a look at them here I have also changed the line color to not be part of the environment. When it's part of the environment, uh, it needs to get the light from the light source as a reflection to shine. Uh, so I've updated it so that it's always visible. Um, and that should uh, make it easier. That's it here, right? The camera does follow follow along so if I just wanted to follow it would go here but if I click anywhere that's it it's gone so let's come back over here yeah and that is about it here we can go back to the main map uh, and and I'm, I'm really happy with the speed you you could see how i was able to unload that map remove the other units and load this california map in a mere matter of seconds uh, and that is very very important especially in gameplay you don't want to wait uh, forever and ever for for these areas all right i think that uh, pretty much sums up the updates uh kind of back to square one to where i was before but now with the new map so uh, the next steps are uh, definitely working on units. I really need to get them to interact with the terrain, uh, change their movement speed based off of the terrain that they are um, uh, traveling on. Uh, so if you're a pedestrian, you can go through trees, but if you're a vehicle, you cannot go through the forest. So things like that. Uh, then also having the units interact with the fire uh, by basically extinguishing it. Uh, so those are the next things on my agenda for this next month. Um, uh, so wish me luck. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Cheers.